Hey there YouTube, Squint here. Today we're working on Bill Bacardi's number 81. You can see here, listen. Sounds like some of my uh, Master Lotto 410s. I don't know what Voodoo Bill's done in this lock. I'm sure it's something awesome. Uh, but let's see if we can get it picked. We're going to have to use some thin picks. So I'm going to use um, some of UK lock pickers. His real is 15 thousandths. Um, so let's see if we can get it done up. We're going to work off the bottom. So we're going to start with a pretty, pretty steep hook from uh, his kit. Let's see, 15 thousandths. Let's see, here it is. Let's start with this real steep hook. Try to pick this thing clockwise and see what we get. One, two, three. Four, five, a little click and some turn. Six with a little click. Four with a little click and turn. Three's bound up. Two's bound up. One with a click. Big turn on one, three, little click there, took me some of that deep false set away, Start over, maybe I overset three. Five with a turn. Six with a click. Small turn there. Three's bound up. Two with a click. One with a big false set. One was done. Let's see. Yep, I think it was. That was an overset. Two, one. There we go. Nice. Work through that one a little bit. I'll just use this real steep hook off the bottom. See there. Uh, this is from UK Lock Pickers. Uh, new set. Make sure you guys go check them out. Um, definitely a quality product. So go check those guys out. This again was Bill Bacardi's number 81. Hope I showed you guys the bidding. Can't remember. There was the bidding on it. And uh, let's see if we can get this thing gutted. Let's see what kind of voodoo he's got put in here. He uh, he definitely has something in there because it's rattling around. All right, let's go ahead and angle you guys down. All right, let's see what we got here, Bill. What you do to us this time, buddy? This thing will fit in there. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna lock it up. There we go. The dogs are giving my wife a run for her money today. She's in there trying to cook dinner and they're just giving her all kinds of nonsense. It's raining outside, which we need. Kill some of that heat down here in South Texas. That's not rattling around no more. Maybe it was this little 
this little uh this little piece right here rattling around in the back that I heard. But I swear it was rattling when I picked it up. Alright. Maybe he uh maybe it was just that little piece. We got the key, so we're gonna shim this thing and see what he did for us. I guess I ain't gonna shim it until I put the key in it. Pins are up. Go ahead and push them on through. Beautiful. You guys can see that everything was in and working. Let's see what we got in here, Bill. Nice serrated key pin. Spool key pin. That was almost a reduced diameter. Standard. Well, three or four serrations on that one. And another spool. And then he's got undercutting in one. Tell if that's undercut or not. Definitely got undercutting in one, four, no, nope. and six. Yeah, that's one, three, four, and six are all undercut. Good work there, buddy. One, three, four, and six look undercut to me. And let's see what he did up top. Mark the front of this real quick. Oh, he's got a little notch on there. Hmm. Now I gotta think which way was the front. Let's see, I put that ran it from this way. My brain's going out on me. Big spring there. That was a spool. Standard. Little spring. Another spool. That almost looks, these almost look like he uh, put some type of factory pins in there. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm not gonna have a clue, Bill, of how these went, my man. You're gonna have to get a hold of me and let me know. They all just dumped out when I was trying to get that spring out of there, buddy. Maybe I'll be able to find a video online. Somebody already pick it. That one's here because this spring is still in here. There it is. Real thick spring there. Man, I'm sorry, Bill. He hasn't done anything up top. Shoot. Well, let's go over the pins so you guys can see them. 
I'm not sure the orientation of them. At least the top pins. I'm sorry, buddy. All right, here, number one, you can see he had a spool. Um, and these key pins are uh, custom. He's got a serrated pin there. And number two, he's got a nice long custom spool there with a standard. Um, and three, this one's just kind of been, the diameter has been reduced on the top. You can see where about where my tweezers are is where it starts. Um, and then he had a spool in that one for sure. Uh, these last three, I'm not sure where they ended up. He had a, looks like a micro serrated, a couple serrations there in the key pin in four. Could have been a standard there. Um, then another serrated, uh, lightly serrated key pin. And there was a spool. And then he had a spool here. Um, since this wafer was here, I'm going to assume this pin went like this, whichever slot it was in. Um, since there was a wafer there, I'm, I'm assuming um, it was acting like a drunken spool. So, um, Alright guys, um, this was Bill Bacardi's number 81. Uh, Bill, I'm going to look online and see if I can find out the actual orientation these pins went before I put it back together. Or you can hit me up and let me know if you remember. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean for for my, my follower just fell out the back. So when I was trying to get that spring out, but all right, guys, this is Squint, and I appreciate you guys hanging on with me, and I'll be on to the next lock.